His name was Oswaldo Paya, one man up against the totalitarian system. He was born into a prosperous Catholic family. He was nearly seven years old when Fidel Castro came to power. Paya held a fundamental belief that the rights of every person are bestowed by God. El mismo que nos ataca a nosotros. But every day in Cuba, he saw those rights were trampled upon. He never lived in a free Cuba, but it lived in his mind, and it drove him. Paya wasn't interested in a violent revolution. He fought with words. He knew that Cuba's constitution, even under Castro, allowed its citizens the right to ask for change. His most daring challenge to Castro was a citizen petition, the Varela Project. He needed at least 10,000 signatures for a legislative initiative, and he got them. The rest of the world took notice. But demanding democracy in Cuba was dangerous for those who dared to challenge Castro. Eventually, Fidel had had enough. In a three-day period, over 75 people were arrested. Pero que es horrible que tú hayas estado seis años preso en Cuba including the inner circle of the Varela project. But Oswaldo Paya refused to give up. And now he was a marked man. 